And what I want to introduce here is the use of a manual suction device in lieu of a uh, electronic suction device. And we're going to look at something called the uh, the C duct, which is a combination of a device called a suction easy with a score decantal catheter. We're going to go ahead and open up our device here. We have the Ducanto catheter and we have the Suction Easy product itself, which has been shortened to become what we call the C duck. You take the Ducanto catheter out of the, the package and put it straight onto the suction device itself. And what this is going to allow us to do is anytime we need suction, this device is going to be there for us. So let's recontaminate this airway and do this simulation from the beginning. We're going to really muck it up here. Okay, you can see the mannequin's got a full mouth of airway contaminant now. I'll begin by in introducing the um, Ducanto catheter into the mouth and squeezing and releasing this uh, bulb, which is very effective in evacuating airway contaminants. And what I'll do now is I'll push this rigid suction catheter into the floor of the mouth to distract the tongue into the floor of the mouth and lift the base of tongue off the posterior pharyngeal wall. I'll place the supraglottic airway fully into the patient and I'll can finish the insertion with the rapid airway decontamination maneuver. I'm able to thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly decontaminate. So I have probably about 150 milliliters of um, airway contaminant here. Uh, what's important to note is that many of these portable devices hold much less than the capability of this device. This device is capable of holding a thousand milliliters of airway contaminant. It's also capable of aspirating uh, large particles. Um, duck. What I'm going to demonstrate is the use of the um, portable C duck suction system to decontaminate the airway, assist the insertion of a supraglottic airway, and rapidly decontaminate that supraglottic airway. I'll start with the squeezing device in my right hand, the bulb, and I'll place the large bore suction into the mannequin and begin decontaminate the oral pharynx. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the tongue into the floor of the mouth, distract that base of tongue off the posterior pharyngeal wall, place the supraglottic airway all the way into the mannequin. And now I'm going to perform a rapid airway decontamination maneuver just by using the device to decontaminate the ventilation channel. This round hole here allows us to uh, burp air out of the device until the diaphragm uh, that covers this, these holes becomes wet with airway contaminant. Now the device will not burp anymore, so it doesn't spray airway contaminant on the rescuers. Uh, the bag can hold up to a thousand milliliters of fluid. And so here we have a patient that's been resuscitated and now we can ventilate him. Beautiful.